player with some challenges, not on the field, but off it as well. Yeah, today he is opening up about a lifelong illness that impacts a lot of people in our community. Medical reporter Liz Bonus joins us now live from Great American Ballpark with more on this player with a purpose. Liz? Oh, good afternoon to you. I want to thank you guys for living right. As you mentioned, a beautiful day out here. And we are here because while the players are warming up, we talked to Adam Duvall just a little while ago. He is opening up about having type 1 diabetes. You know, this is a critical time. They're getting ready for a game. It's hard enough for players just warming up. He's got to be careful with blood sugars as well. Now, quite often with this disease, it comes on suddenly and the body simply doesn't produce insulin. That means you got to check your blood sugar levels with a blood glucose monitor several times a day, and you got to adjust insulin according to those blood sugars. The problem for an athlete on the field can be that for hours, they get big swings and that can impact mood and performance. So I asked both TriHealth doctors and Adam Duvall a little bit about some of the symptoms that he felt when diagnosed. My sleep was interrupted, you know, by having to use the restroom, uh, you know, five or six times a night because, you know, all the water flushing out of my body, um, you know, so and I was super dehydrated, um, you know, it was tough to focus at times and, you know, I was worried, um, you know, like anybody would be and, uh, you know, so it was, there were some adjustments that I had to make in my diet and, uh, you know, routine, but um, overall it's been, it's been pretty good. Oh, and insulin is tough to manage with intensive exercise or with intensive activities because too much insulin makes your blood sugars go low. Too little insulin makes your blood sugars go high. So finding that balance for a type 1 is not easy. Now, Dr. Mike Hiley, who you just heard from there, he is also a type 1 diabetic. And so he shared a little bit now about why, with the Juvenile uh, Diabetes Research Foundation, they are both speaking out today. They've worked really hard on some new technology. And you wouldn't know it, but Adam on this field is wearing what they call a continuous glucose monitor. So it will measure what's going on in the body. Coming up at 5.30 tonight, we're going to show you what that is and tell you a little bit more about how it works. Just some amazing technology and really fun to see these players just getting ready for a great game tonight. Paula? Oh, thanks. You know, and JDRF, they do great work. You, Brad just emceed a JDRF mm -hmm. fundraiser. And, and Liz, they were talking about an artificial pancreas that yep. they've been uh, experimenting with. Making great strides. Yeah, so it's encouraging, isn't it? It is so encouraging. Without players like Adam speaking out, you know, people don't come together. They don't hear the latest and know this new information. So we we're really excited he would share this really personal journey uh, just with us tonight. Thank you, Liz. We have more information on JDRF at local12.com as well.